It's Dot Time Tuesday again, and we are back with Dr. B at Delaney. He mentioned density, and density is a question we hear a lot about. So he's going to explain and actually show us some density issues today. So take it away, Dr. B. So when we, when we talk about breast density in the term of mammograms, we're talking about the proportion of the breast, that is fibroglandular tissue, in relation to normal fat. Um, it, it doesn't depend on your body weight or, you know, it's mainly just your genetics that determines your breast density. Now it is true that over time your breast density will decrease as we get older, that's a normal change that happens. But when we're talking about breast density, let me show you. What we're talking about is this white tissue here. So there's this white tissue, the darker tissue is the normal fat, and this is the skin right here. So we give these things a grade. It used to be one, two, three, four. Now it's A, B, C, D. But basically we break up into four categories. Um, category A being zero to 25 percent fat, or zero to 25 percent of the breast is made of that dense fibroglandular tissue. Category B, 25 to 50 percent. Category C, 50 to 75 percent. And category D, it's over 75 percent. So this would be a category B. I would say about 25 to 50 percent of the breast tissue is the dense fibroglandular tissue. Now I can show you another example of a mammogram where much more of the breast is made up of that white fibroglandular tissue. This one is 50 to 75 percent, so this would be a category C. And you can see that it would be difficult to catch a small mass or something hiding within that dense tissue. A little easier now with the 3D technology, but still, when we're talking about breast density, that's what we mean. The denser the breast, the tougher my job is mm -hmm. to find you know, little things hiding in there. Um, but that's breast density. So the it. 3D is critical, critical. in the success critical. of a finding dense tissue and what may be lurking in yeah, there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so those ladies really do need to get their yearly checkup. What are your recommendations for for dense tissue and getting their mammograms versus maybe a stage, uh, stage A or B. I think that um, I think that if you have dense tissue, mm -hmm. you also have to take other things into consideration, mm -hmm. right? Like your your family history, your yes. past breast history, whether you've had biopsies in the past, whether you've had cancer in the past. Mm -hmm. um, definitely need to see your physician and get a clinical exam, a clinical breast exam. Mm -hmm should also learn how to do a proper physical exam yourself. And we'll take care of that, <laughs> yes. And you know, because you know your breast tissue the best, you You're know right. your body the best. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it used to be, we just, when we didn't have 3D imaging, we would mm -hmm. recommend for dense breast tissue to consider another screening option, whether it be screening ultrasound. In addition um, to the mammogram? In addition to okay. the mammogram. Now that we have the 3D mammograms, mm -hmm. you know, we don't, uh, it's still uncertain whether you need the additional right. screening, but that's a personal choice right. and, a, and a discussion to have with your doctor. Take into effect, you know, family history, yeah. personal history. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I would uh, definitely get the 3D, that's for definitely sure. Definitely get the 3D. And you know, I, I like that North Carolina is one of the states that actually require the mammography radiology company to send us the letter. Um, so when I get my letter, you know, I always wondered what happened between the time you take the photographs and I get my letter and you know, and now actually on there it will tell me what density level I am. And so one of the things we're trying to share with women is that's very important for you to know um, if you're A, B, C, or D because you've got a lot more work to do with your self-breast exams if you're a D. Um, so anyway, man, what a team we are, huh? <laughs> this is great and you know what, I think there may still be this much more to learn about mam mammograms and mammography, and we will be back next time to share even more. See you next week.